Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another battle report. This time it's Fantasy Battles, big game, 4,500 points, and I'm premiering with my Empire of Swordstall army. The first time I'm play, uh, playing a really full-size game with them, and I'm facing off against an Ogre Khan army. And I want to preface, preface this by saying that this is the first time I'm playing Empire, Empire of Swordstall, so I'm not the best of players with them, and my opponent hadn't played Ninth Age in over two years, I think. So we were both a little rough around the edges, but we had a good time. So um, please strap yourself in, and I hope you enjoy. So this is my army. Uh, starting from the right here, we have a giant with a giant repeater, and a big unit of Imperial Guard, 40 of them, with full command and banner of unity. With them is a prelate um, with a uh, death warrant black steel plate armor and a um, dusk forge shield so she has a one-up armor and rerolls and uh, battle focus and gives battle focus to parent units we have a bolygon in the forest we have a unit of heavy infantry with standard and musician and behind, them, behind them a unit of light infantry with hang handguns full command a marksman's pennant and a bsb with them, who's, who's got a pistol, nothing else, and a wizard, wizard master of cosmology with a medical hero. Next we have another unit of heavy infantry. This is a 48 uh, man block with full command and household standard. With them is my general, a marshal uh, with great tactician, and he has a heavy armor with imperial seal and a great weapon. And also the uh, Ullur's cloak or the winter cloak, Willer, winter cloak. So he's tanky and a good general. We have another giant, this time a big brother with a giant club, and we have some knights with white weapons and a musician out on the right flank or my right flank, left in the picture. Uh, these are the spells I took: altered sight, ice and fire, exceptional strength, and truth of time and also fireball and this is my opponent's army um, out on the left here we have a unit of nine bruisers with full command and the uh, pennant of the great draw sky so they have switch stride with them is a Khan who has the heart ripper iron fist and I think the mammoth cloak and uh, some other tanky item um, he was fairly tough, and a shaman with the ritual bloodletting and the medical heirloom. He's an adept of shamanism, and they can BSB with um, a thrycon, uh, <coughs> and uh, he has a uh, horde master and uh, talisman of shielding. You can see the list down below. I don't have any from me, unfortunately. Uh, the Khan also had Headhunter. Uh, and I think the Shaman had Rotten Jaw. Maybe. Um, we have a Thunder Cannon. A unit of Scraplings with no upgrades. Or Bombardiers with a Musician. A Scratapult. A Slave Giant with Iron Fist. Two units of 20 uh, Scraplings with Bows and, and Musician. Four um, Tigers. Uh, same two tigers with a hunter, a mammoth hunter with them, who has the leader of the Facton, and uh, he has uh, an ogre crossbow and lightning worm races, and, and an iron fist. And for spells, he took um, swarm, swarm of insects and awaken the beast. I scout, scouted some um, uh, Imperial Rangers up on this hill, and he did some chef for that big unit of characters. And he scouted some uh, trappers, eight of them, and vanguarded the uh, um, tigers uh, further up on my right flank. Unfortunately, I didn't take a picture early on for the whole battlefield, so we'll wait a little bit with the scenario and the terrain. Um, in my first turn, I advanced a little bit, and I cast Truth of Time on my big unit of Albertiers, and I cast Altered Sight on my giant to make his shooting a little bit better. And I did shoot, and I took two health points off on his thunder cannon with the giant. That was the only thing that could shoot uh, since I started. I dropped to go first. 
So here's the first overall picture. You can see that we have three hills on the table, a lake, a forest, and a ruin. And something passable in the middle. And we're playing Dawn Assault and Breakthrough. So I uh, dropped everything mostly be because I didn't want to try and figure out how to deploy um, an Emperor Zornstall army on the fly. Um, in, uh, my first time playing in them and all. So I just wanted to put them all down and know where I, everything went. I decided to go, to go first, even though that would mean I couldn't shoot with a lot of my stuff. But since this breakthrough, it felt like a good idea to try and push forward and gain the initiative, because the ogres are fast. So that's that. Um, in my movement phase, you can see I moved forward, um, and my knights turn around and move back here. And it cost truth of time on the, uh, uh, the heavy infantry here to make sure that they could charge whatever they wanted in the next turn. They could seize nothing. Uh, he decided to charge with his giant. Oh, in, in my turn, my giant charged his trappers over here, but he uh, he passed the terror check and I didn't reach him. Um, we realized, like inexperienced uh, as we both were with the, in this game, he didn't keep his general anywhere near the, his the big part of his army. So we realized that the, his scraplings over here on my right flank are very susceptible to terror. But he did pass his uh, dispense six check. The trappers and he charged his giant into my big block um, not really sure why he did that no, he wasn't really sure either uh, I passed my terror and I counter charge with my giant which was neat uh, and he moved around like this moved up a little bit uh, moved around on the flank with his un hunter and the cats and uh, advanced a little bit on the flank um, that's the same picture. Looks like it. Um, don't see any difference. Spells he cast awaken the beast on his thunder cannon to help keep it keep it alive, start resilience. And his ogre crossbow <laughs> killed three of my knights, which was pretty lucky. Um, and then the uh, cannon hit my polygon and took off uh, four wounds, four health points. And the Scrabble hit my Imperial Guard and took off a whole bunch of models. I think he rolled five sixes for the little strike and I couldn't save the five up for the life of me. Uh, in the combat he killed a full rank, an extra guy, nine models of heavy infantry with a giant. And I brought him down to four wounds. I won combat by one single point and he broke and ran, like so. He passed his uh, discipline test with the scraplings that he ran through, um, padding test, and I decided to not pursue with anything because I was in a very good position where I was and could risk messing that up if I rolled um, bad things for my pursuit. Um, but what I wanted to do was maximize my terror potentials with a the, with the giant, really, um, and be able to charge um, really quickly, take care of this flank, uh, what was my thought. Um, so that's what it looked like, and this is the rest of the table. Um, at the end of that turn, um, so yeah, he. I don't think there's anything else going on here now. Um, we can look here at the charges I declared instead. Is going into my turn, so my giant declared a charge on the scrapping trappers again. They again passed the Discipline 6 um, test, terror test, so they stu stuck around. My heavy infantry charged the. Uh, my heavy, small heavy infantry charged the bombardiers to draw out his uh, stand and shoot, and they did. And my big unit charged afterwards, and uh, he decided to flee. Um, so maybe that was a bad idea. Um, he fled through the scraplings, and they failed the, their panic test. And I think the scrapping unit, they just ran straight off the table, uh, but the bombardiers are remaining in place. Yeah, here we can see bombardiers left, but the scrappers are gone. Uh, and the giant into the flank here, and my, I redirected my heavy infantry into the scrapplings over here. 
And then on my left flank I really messed up. Um, I In my last turn I, I had moved the Volligan to get closer. Uh, but in this turn I just shuffled around a bit and just totally blocked everything worthwhile shooting at. I stood still with the giant but he had nothing to shoot at really. Except for the um, under cannon perhaps but that was extra health points. Uh, so I actually decided not to shoot uh, with like anything because the risk of misfire and losing that last wound on the volleygun uh, was too great and didn't feel worth it with the giant either. So really, really stupid movement on my part on uh, that end. Um, and the, the heavy infantry failed the charge and ended up here. And that's about it. Um, in combat, um, I completely. No, I, did, I killed a lot of scraplings and five were left, and I fled through the giant. I pursued. I rolled four, so I didn't even reach the giant, which was unfortunate, um, and I didn't catch the scrapling either. So we ended up like that, and the giant he killed the uh, trappers and turned to face the next, un next unit, who had already passed a. Panic test from uh, me breaking the uh, other scrapping unit. <coughs> so he continues to pass a lot of six up discipline tests. Um, Move on to his turn. Um, this is what it looks like going in. And in his turn, he declared a charge with the big unit against my um, guard. He needed a 9 on Swiss, with Swiss Ride, and he failed, uh, lucky me. And the giant rallied, and the uh, scrapling unit would have rallied. They rolled 5, I think, for the discipline, but they were decimated, so they didn't pass it after all. So they kept running, but didn't run very far, I think. And um, with his shooting, he took out the uh, Polygon. The cannon fired another shot at it, and the Scratapult fired a shot at these guys and killed a big bunch of, uh, bunch of them. He also, uh, this is going into my turn, he moved the Hunter up here and uh, the Kin Eaters appeared. And uh, in my turn, I again made some big mistakes on the uh, left flank. My uh, Imperial Rangers failed their march test, so they couldn't go up and chef the big units, so they went and chef the kin hitter instead. And they decided to chef with my giant, but in hindsight I sh pro should probably just have moved back a little bit. Um, Try to tempt him to either go after me or go after the, the take the objective or go after the rest of the army. I moved up a little bit with the light infantry. And um, that's about it. Uh, magic, I cast Ice and Fire on the Thunder Cannon and killed it. Took off the last three health points. Um, and the giant right uh, over here, uh, I charged the, the, his giant with my big block and uh, killed it before it could sw swing. And I reformed, but stupidly should have reformed more um, to face back into the hell really don't know why I did that the giant he charged the block of scraplings in front of him and they failed the terror test and he ran them down killed them and uh, reformed the discipline test uh, in his turn uh, he charged the scratapult and the hunter into my unit of heavy infantry oh and I abandoned ship with the prelate jumping into the heavy infantry unit in my turn. And you can see the, the hunter over here, he charged my heavy infantry. He did an, an 11 with Swiss Rod and he got it. Uh, so, into there. <coughs> in combat, I challenged with my prelate um, and she was able to tank his attacks. It's only AP2. But the uh, uh, Scratapult did a fair amount of damage, uh, lost combat by up that fast, so I uh, didn't really care. And the rest of his movement, he killed the, the giant, the big block, moved the cats up into my flank, killed my knights, killed my uh, Imperial Rangers. Um, 
And yeah, that's about it. In my turn, I turn around, face him, and I move the giant up on, on the hill. Um, these guys got um, an order to leg it, so they just ran straight up into uh, his objective zone. Um, yeah, uh, the Scratabolt actually lost combat and fled in, the, in my previous turn. Mm. Oh, in, in this turn. Um, yeah, and I cast uh, Bullos Blessing and Bolon's Blessing uh, on my unit, and that's why I was able to break the uh, Scratabolt mostly because I took one damage, I think, and I had enough static combat rest. And, uh, and my prelate kept doing wounds to the uh, hunter, so that was also nice. So the Scratabolt is running, uh, but in his turn he rallied, he charged the uh, big unit into my Imperial Guard. The cats into the rear of my infantry. And, uh, we have a nice little picture here of my giant looking down the hill. And uh, in this combat, uh, my blessings helped a lot to only kill two, and uh, I, I continued to hold against them. And he totally wiped out my Imperial Guard, no problem at all. I managed to kill one ogre and the two to another unit. And he moved his kin leader up over here to face my fleeing light, inf light infantry. And the uh, big ogre unit uh, turned about. And his kin leader moved up a little bit as well. And he rallied the Scratabolt. I shorted the giant into the cats and the uh, big unit into the Scratabolt. And rallied these guys to face the kin leader. In combat, the giant killed a few cats. The prelate killed the hunter in combat. Uh, in, the, in the duel, it was nice. And I broke the cats. I decided not to pursue because I wanted the cats to end up like in the middle here and just be in the, in the way. Uh, and I would risk giant or the other unit ending up being in the middle and just being a springboard if he wanted to uh, throw the uh, some other charge characters out or the whole unit and abandon the objective. He was in a position of, do I keep my unit in the victory zone or do I try and kill other stuff? Um, so, we'll see how that goes. Um, not sure... yeah, I killed the Scrapbolt, of course. And I reformed. So, this is going into his turn. And... Um, he charged the Kinator appear into the light infantry, I stood and, shoot, uh, st uh, stood and shot, and um, it didn't do any damage really. Uh, I forgot I had Marshman Mass pen Pennant, but still um, didn't do any, any damage. Uh, he charged the Khan out of the unit into the Giant, and I cast the Truth of Time on him, so he had, ro had rolled five dice to remove the two highest and the lowest, and he uh, needed to roll a seven, and he did. And the Kinator charged my heavy infantry here, who decided to flee. He redirected into the giant. Like so. Um, and that's about it for that turn. In combat, he didn't kill the giant. Uh, brought him down to three health points remaining, which was pretty bad rolling for him. I only did one wound in return on the Kinator, which was pretty bad rolling for me. But I stuck around past my break test. Um, but in my turn, then he killed him instead. Uh, he also moved out the BSB up here in his turn to charge something. And he rallied the cats. Um, so in his turn, now he charged cats into the flank of my light infantry, and the BSB into the front. Uh, I stupidly in my turn I, I had uh, I made way with my BSB to uh, fight the Kinator, try to kill it, but I took two health points in return. Um, and in this turn he did kill the BSB. Um, didn't manage to kill it before that. Uh, but 
uh, shall see on uh, yeah this is the second to last picture really he charged the Khan into this unit over here and I challenged with the prelate but he killed it um, and but the unit, unit held um, thanks to steadfast discipline 10 be rollable but my light infantry they Lost combat, of course, but they uh, were steadfast. This in 10, but the BSV was dead, so no, no reroll, and I rolled an 11, 11. So they broke and ran, which was huge and important. I think, though, that I had put um, steady men on the unit, but I forgot about that, so shame on me, I guess. Uh, I really should get some tokens or something for that. That would help a lot. Uh, also, had perception of strength up to try and kill some stuff, but uh, <laughs> didn't even manage to get the kill eater. And this is the what it looked like at the end, end game with um, this unit, the light infantry unit dead. And uh, unfortunately, that meant that I didn't get the objective. My big unit of heavy infantry is in the zone. The small unit is just outside of it. If I just had angled it a little bit differently, they would have remained in, in the zone and I, I would have gotten the objective. And if I had not moved the, the BSB to fight him, I could have survived as well. Um, if I'd remembered the uh, uh, steady men rule, I could have survived as well. And yeah, I made a lot of mistakes. So yeah, that's the end of the game. We uh, counted up the points, and it was a 13-7. Uh, so if I had gotten the objective, it would have been a draw. So we drew the objective. Um, really great game. I think it can be summarized that I. Uh, he played quite poorly early on, uh, deployment wasn't really good, he left his uh, flank with scrapplings totally open. Um, I was a bit unlucky on that flank in not being able to clean it up sooner, he passed a lot of discipline 6 tests. Um, if I had been able to do, do that faster then I would have been able to um, handle the rest of the table better I think. But then I made a lot of mistakes. Um, throughout the game. He played fairly well, really, um, during the game. It's just the deployment that he messed up. But, um, yeah, it, it was a really fun game, and um, I really look forward to playing Emperor Sunshine again. So I think that's it. Um, thank you very much for listening, and hope to see you in the next one. Cheers!